as Timo Marine Diagnostic Tools. They were connected with the Texas software to a 2008 Sea-Doo 230 Challenger. This boat has a twin Rotax 1503 engines in it. So we're going to go to inboard. We'll select that. We'll go over to the S on the right hand side and select the Sea-Doo. And we'll move down and select the 230 Challenger. 1494 inboard engine okay we're going to go down to petrol injection select that and that's going to bring up your engines we're going to select starboard and we'll go to the film strip select our cable which is ap43 the ap19 is discontinued and that ap56 is a new cable so we're waiting on that to come out okay so here you have your little film that'll tell you exactly where the connector is on this model some of them may be different but they're probably going to be pretty close uh, it just depends on how they rig that that's set up okay so let's go picture of the connector one thing to notice is that battery connection you're going to want to be on that starboard battery with the starboard engine if you were on that left or port battery that's not going to be able to connect okay so the first screen's going to pop up is that faults page you see we have two inactive codes the yellow tells you that they are inactive or the mem stands for memory if they were active they would be in red okay so here we're at the parameters that's where you're going to find your voltage rpms temperatures and pressures we're going to the status page that's going to show you your switches it's also going to tell you whether it's installed or it's not installed uh, if they're not there, and if they are, what they, what values you have for them. And we'll scroll down. Okay, next tab is the ECU info. That's going to give you your information on the ECU, your serial numbers, when was the last program date, and software creation. It's also going to give you the hours of the last service and hours of the engine. Uh, so you can see on there and your last last service date, and I'll have it on there also. Okay, your activations page, that's where you're going to find your tests. We're going to go to engine RPM history so you can see this section. It's going to give you a nice graph and tell you what the time frame was on that RPM range. Okay, so we're going to scroll over and see the other screen give you that higher range of RPMs okay it's gonna ask if you want to delete this we're gonna to go to no or select two okay I'll scroll down here we're gonna do an ignition coil test so we'll run through that real quick you'll you'll notice when you're it's activating you're gonna hear that coil fire up We'll go ahead and do the injector test while we're at it. And same thing, while it's activating, you're going to hear that injector fire up. Or it'll make a clicking sound. Okay, so we're going to go last minute history. We'll pull that up. And this will give you your engine temperature. And it'll graph it out on there. And you can also pull up the intake air pressure. It'll have a graph on that also. And then your throttle opening. Okay, so we're going to go to key mode history. That'll tell you what mode your key was in. It should be normal or learning or limp mode. So go ahead and hit confirm. And this engine's going to have all, all the key mode on the normal section. Okay, so we hit confirm to show you that printout form. That's what it's going to look like. It's going to Give you that form so if you want to print it out and give it to the customer if you want to keep for your own records uh, you can do that okay we'll close that out we're going to select two for no we don't want to delete okay so we're going to go over here to settings and show you what we have on this engine is just a tps res reset okay Another thing I wanted to show you is at the bottom of the screen, you have that piece of paper with a gear on it. That's going to give you your technical documentation. 
So your self-diagnosis sheets, that's going to give you your acronym dictionary. We'll cover that in a minute. Uh, what I want to show you right now is the vehicle sheets. That's going to give you your key information, your registering, and your key types. So go to key types. That's going to show you your key types right there. One thing to uh, note is that if you're going to program a key, you're going to need that original key that was with the engine um, in order to program a new one. So you're to keep that in mind when you're programming keys. Okay. And that key programmer is that box that the 43 comes with. So you're going to see that. Okay, here's your acronyms dictionary. This is going to show, you know, if you have a problem, you don't know what this acronym means, pull this up and it'll tell you exactly what it is. Okay. Okay, so on the bottom left hand side, you're going to see that funnel and then you see that sheet with the star. The funnel is going to let you select parameters that you want to see. And it's going to let you graph. You can graph those out. If you just want to see the, you know, the, the temperatures of the engine, exhaust, and air intake, you can just select those three, and then I'll pull it up. And then you double click on them, and then it'll graph. The sheet with that uh, star on it, that's going to give you your, you can make a new list of parameters. So if you want to have a couple of different lists, you can do that also. Okay. So this was a 2008 SeaDoo 230 Challenger. And this is Tim with Marine Diagnostic Tools. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and uh, thanks for watching.